All right, Jim, thanks a lot. Well, for Jason Kidd, it's been his dream since he was a little guy to hear his name announced at the NBA Finals, and that'll happen in just a few moments. But tell me what your experience has been like walking out here on the NBA Finals floor for the first time in your career. Well, it's everything that you dream about as a kid on the playground. You want to, you know, watching Dr. J and Larry Bird and Magic, those guys play for the championship, and this is the highlight of our career. And so we're just trying to enjoy it. Byron Scott has played 30 NBA Finals games for the Lakers in his career. How does his experience help you now in your first appearance? Well, I think it helps us uh, and the coach has played in this and understands the excitement. And, you know, he just told us to relax and go out there and we'll do what we've done all season. And uh, he showed us his, his first ring. So I think that's going to inspire everybody to come out and give us give their best shot today. Are you as calm as you look? No, I'm a little bit more. I, on the outside, I'm calm, but the inside, I'm nervous. All right, good luck, Jason. Mark, back to you. Throughout this playoff run, Three-point shooting will be critical for Phil Jackson's Lakers. Kerry Kittle. Spectacular play, one after another. Kidd able to keep it alive. Open shot for Kenyon Martin. Thirty's the better their chance. Once again, Kenyon Martin given. Jefferson and Aaron Williams getting set to come on. Here is Kidd as to go with more of the bench. The inbounds miscommunication and Jason Kidd puts the move on Derek Fisher and then beats Samaki Walker. <laughs> Dominating self. Good play though by Bob McCullough. Kidd pulls it up. That's a two at the foot on the line. Four and a half remaining in this first half. LA's defense has kept Richard Jefferson under control. Todd McCullough sets caught on their heels again. Bryant struck. Here comes Kidd, chased by Fox. And a beautiful recovery by Kidd. Aaron Scott has to be very pleased cutting into the 23-point lead. Nice play. McCullough on block. Here's Kidd. You saw Shaq at position, but not able to hit. A little bit out of sync offensively that time. Nice push of the ball. Can Van Horn finish? The Kittles, Martin, or Jason Kidd. McCullough is a finisher, not a creator. Kidd. Uh, Fisher played on a switch by Martin. Nice play by Kidd. Team win ball games. Robert Ory, maybe the major reason. And Shaq has missed his last five shots. Beautiful ball movement, New Jersey. Kidd's for three. He'll be shooting the technicals next. Yeah. Mark. Uh, oh, Jefferson born in L.A. Went to University of Arizona, where his coach went to the Hall of Fame today. Oh, yeah. oh, it comes at the foul. A gorgeous shot by Jason Kidd. Well, plus three advantage on the whole game. Now with this full court pressure, taking Shaq's got a real mismatch here. A nice post entry pass. An attempted lob by Fisher. Jefferson able to finish. Oh, he would make a shot from the perimeter. And Horn does defensively because they're not attacking him enough. And there's no fouls on Shaq either. William Bryant Shaw so significant in setting the tone back in game six against Sacramento. It is now Stu Jackson's job. 81-72 Lakers coming up on seven minutes remaining in the fourth. Bryant thought he was fouled. Lost it to Kidd. Here's Harris with Fox. Fox won for the ball, but he's seven at the foul line in this fourth quarter. It's after the good start and way off on that second attempt. What did he tell us yesterday about the, the Statue of Liberty? Yeah. Oh, Jason Kidd had the foot on the line. And I want to know what Shaq weighs. Yeah. I want to see Shaq on the scale. Here's Collins. In percentages, he said a lot of guys shoot a great percentage throughout the course of the entire game, and then they miss in the fourth quarter. And he just made one of two right there. But he says, I make them when they count. The percentages don't matter. So we'll see down the stretch as it appears to be somewhat of the strategy tonight, Mark. Well, Shaq has had his ups and downs at the line of the fourth quarter here tonight. He certainly did it down the stretch against Sacramento in the third quarter. But right now, they've got to rely on their MVP, Jason Kidd, creating. Harris taking from Kidd.
beautiful pass from Kidd to set it up. But Aaron Williams not let us stop. And then the Blazer maniacs, the fans, who drove us. And it gave us their never-ending love. Steve, does this sound like an acceptance speech or something? <laughs> Jason Kidd not able to help it. The rebound. Kidd and Kittles on the backcourt. Martin is up front with Van Horn. And McCullough. Here is Jason Kidd and Aaron. Well, Scott feels that his team is a team of destiny, but they've got to find a way to get some sort of rhythm at this end. Or crisp passing resulting in the layup. Kidd or on the, the Shaq free throating free throw shooting. All oh, guys adjust. Call it every single time like a football to tennis. Here's Kidd for three. So Jason Kidd beginning to heat up out of his hands. Here's Kidd. Play with pain, so he's going to have to stay in the game. He's got nine here in the quarter. Uh, he's got to find a way to not only keep his off the floor, but he got for New Jersey. A lot of teams in this league face it. They don't have a guy that you can just give the ball to, like Shaq and Kobe, to say, get me to, get me to the line, get the other team in serious. Walker once again. Minute and a half gone by. This is what occurred in game one, where the Nets did rally and uh, made the move in the fourth quarter. You've got to decide as a team how many times you're going to get up the ball. Well, the kid does just that. Kidd with the runner. They were hoping that they could continue to make it, and that shot broke down as well. Shots and that they're taking. They're all inside. They're high percentage. The ones that they're making. Dave DeBusher here. All Hall of Famers. And uh, DeBusher, as kid is, goes up by 10. Kobe Bryant. And back comes Jason Kidd. Looking to run the floor. That pulls it up. Yes. Kenyon Martin playing with more confidence here tonight. Harris around Bryant. Harris. But it wasn't that violent. Come on. So now the Nets with possession off the playground. Dump. You're not going to win if you cannot contain for beautiful pass. Told they just changed that last foul from McCullough to Martin. So McCullough has three. Here is the foul. It's final. If this is a good basketball team, the Lakers. This is a great basketball team. Well, in order for us to witness that, they got to play this way. They got to steal the ball. Running the floor. All right, here is Harris. I don't recognize Lucius Harris without the, the face pass. And Jason Kidd right on top of the call. Both teams have four. Team fouls. Here's Kidd. Draws the foul. That counts. Have to make the run. Those two guys changed it. Oh, Kidd with the step. One-on-one -on -one has to come from Kobe and Shaq. The Nets are playing good ball. Now the Nets are still playing catch-up. Things have fallen apart. Ori has been reinserted to establish order. Here's Kidd. It's just spectacular. Kidd bothered by Bryant. Here's Kidd. Yes. As Shaq was triple team. Here's Kidd with the lead for Jack. Fake by Kidd. Here's Williams. Yes. All the point of attack here in the second half. Oh, that lead is down to one with 420 left in the fourth. Here's Kidd. Yes. 13 2 run by the Lakers has provided a four point lead. Here's Kidd. Yes. Jason Kidd. Down to 36 seconds. Van Horn. Yes. It's a four point Laker lead. Takes the shot. Kid with the back tap. Van Horn falling away. Kept alive with seven seconds remaining. Here's Kid for three. Yes! Martin Todd McCullough. 
Martin up front. Kenyon Martin coming off a very strong performance. He's incredible. Normally at this stage, we tell would be coming out of the game. In the fourth quarter, crowd enjoyed that the shot by Bryant was way off. Here's Kenyon. This is Lucius Harris without the protective mask. Harris got the stick. This series belies both numbers, Mark. All right, here's Mark to get it. Perception. ...in recovery, so the pressure is still on New Jersey to continue the... ...the court, and they got a great player on a roll in Kenyon Martin right now. Samaki Walker has come on for Shaquille O'Neal. Martin... Oh. ...right off the steal. Cody <laughs> setting up a left-handed attempt. That's it. Yes. Here is Harris. Yes. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and O'Neal has four assists. Collins given the room. Oh, but it's taken by Kidd. 25 seconds remaining in the half. Yes. Looking for a call. Now Kidd backs it up on Fisher. And hits. Rebound for 11 second chance points. And neither forward or your thoughts are making it happen for Phil. Now has. 25, Lakers lead it by seven. Open shot for Van Horn. Fox not able to handle that pass. Here comes Kittles. Bryant stepped away, did not want to pick up number four. Torchton. Here's Kidd, yes. In the first half, breaking out of a slump. Kidd with five on the 24. Guys have been on the bench. Here's Kidd for three, yes. There's four. believe and trust in each other so much and the way they zip the ball. Yes. The only tears tonight will be tears of joy. And look, Phil Jackson has put Mitch Rich loose and all he wanted to do was get in the playoffs. And he just wishes he could have done more to help the team. Here's Kenyon Martin. So it's one Starting out the playoffs, you weren't really yourself. How did you bring it all together down the stretch? First of all, I want to say congratulations to Jason Kidd, the real MVP of the regular season.